وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. You know about Islam? No. Uh, in Islam, no Dios, you know Allah. We believe in just one Dio. No hijo de Dios, no hija, no padre de Dios, un Dios. Just one God. We don't believe God has kids, no father, no child, no wife, no kids, no uncles. Just one great creator. We're all the creation of God. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people could say children of God in the sense that we were created by God, but not physically the children of God, right? Does that make sense to you? No. See? No? <laughs> what, what do you believe? Do you believe there's a God? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you believe there's one God or three gods? No, yeah. Only one? Okay, good. Do you believe God is above where he's not like humans, he doesn't go to yeah. sleep, right? He doesn't get tired and rest? Okay, good. See, the Bible says God got tired and rested on the sixth day, right? Yeah. But we as Muslims believe, no, Allah, no, He does not get tired. He doesn't get uh, fatigued. He's always all powerful because He's the creator of everything, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So God, you believe there's a God. You believe one God. Do you believe God gets married or has children or no? no? Okay, so no children of God, right? That's the Muslim belief. That's excellent, see? So we believe the same thing. One God, no children, no parents, no wives, no girlfriends, no, no novia, no esposa, none of that, right? Yeah. God is not a man or a woman. He's not white or black. He's not Mexican or Chinese. He's above all of that. We don't even imagine him. He's so great. He created everything. There is nothing that can even compare to him. Does that make sense? And then God loves us, right? So he sends us guidance. Like today, he had you stop here. You weren't planning. I didn't know you were coming. But he wrote it for you to come and get this free Quran to learn about his words, right? That is guidance from God. You believe God sends guidance, right? Yeah. So if you look at that, if you look at all the prophets that came, profetas like Adam and David and Solomon and Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them. They were guides, right? They told us, look, don't worship idols, don't worship cows, don't no, worship we, gold, we worship the time. one creator, you know? Does that make sense? Is that what the prophets, you think they would bring that message? Yeah. Good. So that's a Muslim belief. So you believe there's only one God, right? Mm -hmm. And you believe he sent prophets, right? Adam, Moses, Abraham, David, Solomon, Jesus, Muhammad, peace and be blessings. Do you believe in all of them? That they're from God? Yes, I'm You're Muslim. That's what the Muslim belief is. So to Muslims, this is our belief. One God mm -hmm. sent us prophets from Adam to Muhammad, peace be upon them. We believe in all of them. We follow them. That's Islam. Do you believe that? Okay, you have the Muslim belief. We'll give you some more books uh, in Espanol and English as well. Are you in San Diego? Okay, we'll give you the contact information. You can come uh, to our mosque. We have the number to contact us. And will any other questions you have, we will answer later. But you believe no Dios sino Allah, that there's only one God? You will testify to that? Okay, then we're going to do it together. You ready? I bear witness. Say, I bear witness. Uh, in, in Espanol? Or English? No, no. In Espanol. No Dios sino Allah. E Muhammad es su profeta. That's it. I will do it in Arabic, you say it with me, okay? Ashhadu al la ilaha illallah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammada abduhu wa rasuluh. Allahu Akbar, you're Muslim. Uh, in English, it is I bear witness there is none to be worshipped except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the servant and messenger of Allah. You're Muslim, officially. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, you had the belief already in your heart. Now you have professed it. Now how to pray and fast. We'll give you all of that information, okay? We'll have our sisters keep up with you. Thank you. I'm going to give you some more books. Uh, this is in Espanol. Hmm. You have a bag? Yeah. We have Muslim garbage. It's in English. The what? Uh, how's, your, how's your English? Okay, you're reading in English? Or? My son, 
Okay. Perfect. We're going to give you uh, a new Muslim guy. But most important, we'll get your contact and we'll have our sisters keep up with you, okay? So this is, uh, I already gave you one of those in Spanish. This is in English, but it's a new Muslim guide. It's going to be great for you. It's all free. And then this has a, a place, the mosquita, the place, the mosque that we pray. So you can come and join us. You're Muslim today. Thank you. It's the greatest day of your life. May Allah Who? protect you. Who? 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 Akbar, yeah. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. So it's two words, Allah and Akbar. When you put it together, it goes Allahu Akbar. Which means God is great, like hallelujah, like Christians say. Yeah? God bless, man. God bless. Love you. you know about uh, Islam? You, yeah, it's all free? You mean... I bought my dad a Quran and he, oh, was, nice. uh, he went to Mass every day. I'll get you a free one. No, that's okay. You sure? No, no, no. You already have one, huh? Yeah, yeah, I do. If you want, it's, it's, we, we're here to give them out. So. Really? Yeah, it's free. You're, you're very open-minded. You like hearing Allah Akbar. That's great. Well, I, I, get, I get all mad that everyone's got their own God. And I, yeah. I understand you have your God. And over here, somebody's mm. telling me the gospel and all that. You know, I just I, wish we could have one but God. The, I think as Muslims, we believe we have the same God, right? Because we believe so. that Jesus was sent by the same God, right? We believe Abraham was sent by the same God. We don't believe that Abraham and David and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, had different gods. Yeah. We believe they're all prophets. Like, for example, a, a person of the Jewish faith may feel that that Jesus was illegitimate, he was born out of wedlock, out of fornication, that he was a false messiah. But we don't say that, right? We say he was born to a miraculous Mary, he was sent by the same God that sent Moses and Muhammad before and after him. Peace and blessings be upon all the prophets. Even when I say their names, look, I say peace be upon him. That's how much we love Jesus and Moses and David and Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon them. We don't disrespect any of them. We don't make cartoons of them. We don't mock any of them. You never see a Muslim burning the Bible. We don't see a Muslim, uh, you know, like people, they take holy scriptures and urinate on them and do disrespectful things. We believe that, you know, even if we don't believe Jesus is God, we believe that Jesus is a prophet of God, right? Like even Jesus, you too, there you go. I was raised Catholic. Yeah, you know, I used to go to Catholic but school then again, myself. I don't. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I was raised here in San Diego, so all my friends were Mexicans, so they were, you know, Catholics and Christians. So I grew up going to mass. I I grew up going to confession. I grew up going to quinceaneras. I went did you to switch over to Allah. Uh, when I was about 18, I started to research religions. I went through some life experience, kind of a interesting long story. Uh, but then after researching the different religions, I chose to be a Muslim. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. But again. I believe that Jesus worshipped Allah, right? Allah is just a name, right? Yeah. Like, like the word Allah in Arabic, we use it to the only one that's worthy of worship, but we also call him Ar-Rahman, the most merciful, Ar-Rahim, the specifically merciful, the, the, the most forgiving, the most the wudud, the most loving, right? Um, uh, the one who is, you know, takes account, you know, we have so many, so many names that we know Allah through, right? Yeah. We call them Asma al-Husna, the beautiful, perfect names of God, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we believe in other languages, in other times, there may have been more names. The Prophet, yeah. peace be upon him, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that I call upon God, or upon Allah, by the names that I know and the names that we don't know about, right? So we, we think people get caught up in that, right? But we don't believe that uh, a monkey is God, that it should be worshipped. We don't believe a statue is God. That's why you never see us making statues, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we don't believe in worshipping the prophets. Like We don't worship Muhammad, peace be upon him. We love him, he's a prophet, but we don't worship him. We don't say he's divine, he's not God, right? So the problem that got to be, as you saw the Jehovah Witnesses there, and you saw the Christians over there, is they started giving divinity to the prophets, right? Because the prophets had miracles, they were amazing people. I love, uh, Jesus was an amazing role model example. We love him, peace be upon him. But he's not God, right? He prayed to God. Like you believe that, right? He put his head on the ground, he prayed to God. We Muslims put our head on the ground and pray to the same God he prayed to. We don't have our yeah, own right, God. Right, right. Doesn't yeah. that make sense? Well, that's what I believe. You, you have the Muslim belief already. I don't already. believe that my God, our God, yeah, would send God. someone who did not follow the boom, 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 boom. So you have to go to a fiery pit in hell. Mm -hmm. it's like, who believe? I mean, I know trillions of people believe yeah. that there is a fiery pit mm. waiting to barbecue people. What right. until what? Until their ashes and until then, forever, and then, right? Keep, yeah, the, 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 <laughs> eternity. The yeah. That never goes. That just kills me. Yeah. Really but but see, the thing is, we as Muslims. We believe that God created us, right? Gave us purpose, gave us guidance, gave us do's and don'ts, right? For example, I think you would agree that we shouldn't kill people. 
right? We shouldn't steal from people. We shouldn't rape. We shouldn't plimage. We shouldn't fraud. We shouldn't, uh, you know, fornicate. We shouldn't indulge in unnatural sexual acts, you know, with animals or with, you know, uh, sure. things that, that, that are against the natural design of, of what God created us for, right? Sure, sure. So these are the rules of God. Now, in this world, we're going to have punishments, right? Let's say you go to that guy and, and you grab his phone and beat him up and take it away, which I know you wouldn't, but as an example, right? Now, the police are going to arrest you. They're going to take you to jail. They're going to, they're going to tell you that what you did is wrong, right? Now, you can repent. And you can be like, I'm sorry, here's your phone back, no harm done, you know, I'll, I'll pay you whatever damage is, and you could solve it, right? So we as Muslims have that belief. In this world, Allah created us for a test, right? In this world, you have an option. Today, you're standing here talking about the Creator, you're learning, you're, you're sharing, that's a wonderful thing. You could have come and spit on me and kicked my tent, like, sure. like it has happened before, right? Those are your choices. Now, when you are respectful and you're having a conversation, I believe God is going to guide you. He's going to give you blessings. He's going to take you in the right path because you're doing right, right? But if you came and you were harmful and you were hateful and you did wrong, I believe you will get that punishment. Whether it's in this world or in the hereafter, depending if, you know, like for example, the Prophet Muhammad told us a beautiful hadith and that's a very beautiful lesson. He said, there was a man that killed 99 people. Imagine, Somebody murdered 99 people, right? He was a, he was an assassin, a murderer, a horrible, right? He goes to a very religious man, a, a worshiper, and he tells him, can I ever repent? And they tell him, you know, the, the worshiper, you know, he, he, every sin seems so big to him. He's like, you killed 99 people? There's no repentance. You're going to go to hell, right? And then, so he kills him and makes it 100. Right? <laughs> so then he goes to a scholar, a person of knowledge, you know, a person who has that divine knowledge, a worshiper, with, but with, with, coupled with what Allah has sent him with guidance, right? He tells him, I've killed 100 people, can I repent? And the scholar tells him, of course you can repent, because the doors of repentance are always open. Until, until you're alive, you got that doors open. So this man, he repents, 100 murders, he repents, right? So the scholar tells him, look, you're in a bad environment, you're caught up in that life, you got to leave. You got to go to the place where there's good people so you can get away from the bad environment. So he sits out on his way and he dies midway. So now the, the angels that take a person who's a murderer, who, who, who you know, should be punished, they're coming down. And the angels who are of mercy and that are taking you for blessings are coming. And they, they're like, hey, where does he go? He died halfway. Allah is so merciful. He made that land shorter. He got him closer to the pious place. So he saved and he does not go to the hell for it. Why? Because he repented, right? But if you got somebody who's a mass murdering rapist that continues to do that and never, you know, he's going to have to pay. You know, of course, he's going to stand in front of God and he's going to have to give account. If somebody, look, if you own a company, right? And you hire somebody and you pay them and you pay their salary and you pay their expenses, you pay everything. And then they spend that time using your resources, getting your information. And then they go to your competitor and they give all that over to them. American story. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're going to keep them on? No, you're going to fire them. You're going to sue them. You're going to take them. Allah gave us all of this. How can we go worship an idol? Right? So this is why we as Muslims, like as you said, we believe there is a God. We believe that God loves us. We believe that God wants us to go to heaven. And heaven to us is not like where is angels playing harps on clouds, you know, this weird imagery people have made. No, we believe that heaven is a place that is so beautiful, no mind has imagined. Like imagine a child in the womb of the mother, he couldn't imagine this world, right? If you try to explain that to a fetus, that there's, you know, people going to walk around, you're going to see, uh, you know, these kind of beautiful trees and parks and greenery, he's going to be like, what's that? Right? So you can only give them examples. So like that, the Quran gives us examples of running rivers and beautiful gardens. Why? Because that's, these are things that please us, that look nice to us. So, but in reality, heaven is so beautiful, never ending life, right? We believe that there is judgment. We believe there is punishment. We believe that those who, you know, like, like you know, genocide and murder people, if they think they get away with it in this world, no, Allah will judge them and punish them in the hereafter. We're not, but... We believe that Allah is so merciful that He opens that door of forgiveness until then. Anytime you can repent. My last, uh, before, I, before I take off here. Does that make I'm sense though? Oh, of course, of course. Good. Um, I'm saying this and I grew up in a very Catholic family. I have eight brothers and sisters. Go for it. And they're all, 
my thing, and it's not just for Catholics, it might even, I want to hear what your response is sure. to this. I hear people say, well, you know what, I, I, I want this new job, I'm going to pray to God that I get it. With me, I think people, earth has been, and I see, I use the word, earth has been corrupted. Mm. by guys who have joined the clergy yep. and it's like here's that carrot now get that carrot and what you yep. do is you pray to God give him that job yep. I want I want my brother to get well I'm going to pray to God my feeling about prayer is twofold okay you honor God and you thank God great do not ask God for anything mm. everyone says oh God has a plan for me mm. uh, okay all right God is, right. is, is, is God knows everything yeah, right yeah. yeah okay all right but this notion that God is sitting here, like my sister, you know, she's going, oh, yeah, yeah, God God did this for me. And I said, did what for you? And then she'll explain it. And I said, so God is sitting up here going, oh, wow, and then Marty. Oh, here's Marty. She needs something, <laughs> right? And uh. We got the borders lined with these people who are dying to flee where they come, and they'll do anything to be here, right? So yeah. why isn't God helping these people? But, oh, here's Marty again. Oh, she, her brownies didn't turn out. Okay, well. Let's fix the brownies. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what do you feel about so I, I the think, form of prayer? The, sure. the, the, the aim of prayer. I got you. So when we pray, and we pray, we have different types of prayers, but the, the five daily prayers, yeah. we don't do them in, in trying to get some kind of worldly gain. All right? Meaning that even if I don't need anything in life. Worldly gain. Yeah. That's what I got it. Yeah, that's it. Got it. We're ahead. getting there, right? So we believe that this is the haq, this is the right of Allah. So we honor Allah, we praise Allah, we begin the prayer. We read Al-Fatiha, which begins with Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to the Lord of all the universes, worlds, everything that's out there, right? Like you said, that is true. And we believe that this is a spiritual connection between us and God. There's a lot of benefits to prayer. I'm not going to get, I mean, unless you have a couple of hours, I don't have time to go into all of them. But, you know, sins are forgiven. You're, you're, you feel that uh, direct conversation. You know, we believe that that, that prayer is, you know, uh, it, it obligation upon us as creatures of our Creator to, to remember our Creator and put ourselves back on track. You know, like five times a day when you pray, a lot of times it's, it's, it's spiritual benefit to you because, you know, you might be like, oh, I'm going to go do this wrong. And then you pray and you're like, I'm praying. How can I pray in front of God and then go and do that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we believe there's that, that direct connection, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of other benefits to the prayer, I mean, physical and spiritual and all of that and the hereafter. But that's the essence of it. We don't believe that you pray in trying to get worldly gain. We don't pray and think, oh, if I pray, I'm going to get a Ferrari. Right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is this is, this is, this is where, and, and and this is where we believe the corruption, especially the Catholic Church, but even other religious practices, has come in, right? Meaning that you have many people. Like, like I'll tell you, I'll give you a real example, real life, right? I used to go to confession when I was growing up, right? And I was a gang member in San Diego, right? All right. So we would do all kinds of horrible things, right? Illegal things, wrong things. And you would go into the confession box and you would tell the priest, "Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned." You know, I stabbed a guy, you know, and this, you know, I robbed him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, they might give you a little, oh, son, that's not good. But then he'd be like, say these many Hail Marys, donate to the church, you're forgiven. Especially did the donate. Donate to the church, don't forget, you know, the mafia, the cartels, they the all mafia. donate. I was going to say these mafia guys, right? I mean, the Mexican cartels, the same thing. They're sure, very, sure. They give tons of money to the, to the Catholic Church in Mexico. They protect the priests and all that, right? Uh, I mean, my friends are growing up. We used to, you know, give the priest stuff, you know, just to keep him on our side kind of a thing. And, you know, so, so I mean, you know, and the priest would hide us and, and, and help us do illegal things at times. But why? Because a money-making machine. That's why the Catholic Church didn't allow priests to get married. They didn't want those abbots and bishops to let their property go to their kids. Otherwise, the early church fathers all got married, right? If you look at early disciples of Jesus, they got married, you know. If Jesus was on earth longer, I believe he would have got married. When he comes back, I believe he'll get... It's not a, the man is supposed to get married. Man, woman, marriage, that's how society works. Why would you tell a man dedicating his life to God, you can't get married, and then you have all this child molestation and all these scandals coming out, right? So we believe those are corruptions of the church. We don't follow that, right? If I have any need, I turn to my Creator. My Creator knows me. And, and even people that are going through hardships, there, there is always a lesson, there is always an ease that's going to come with it, right? So, we don't believe that you should use religion for worldly gain. But anything you need, pray to your Creator. He loves you. He's close to you, right? But don't use the prayer for worldly needs. 
Make sense? Yeah. So you believe in one God, you believe in all the prophets, you already have the Muslim belief. Read up. Okay. I'm going to give you our card. This man needs a mosque right here. This gentleman <laughs> right here. Okay, yes. There so, we, this is our, our mosque and our organization, everything well, you is have here. A mosque. Yeah, oh. I mean, alhamdulillah, every mosque is our mosque. We don't, we don't do this kind of, <laughs> you know, segregation of this is mine. You know how churches are, I'm a uh, yeah, member. Yeah. You know, if I'm driving and I stop and there's a mosque, me and you can go in and pray, and nobody, you know, we're, we're always welcome. But alhamdulillah. You say the men got to sit here, the women got to sit. Yeah, well, but we have, rules. We, we, we have we have a, a better setup, you know. <laughs> we uh, we have a. I know, uh, I know the Muslims have their way about women. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We we believe that you know whatever God has revealed, this is going to be the best, right? So we don't want to make up our own rules. Like if you look at a lot of the people of Judaic faith today, a lot of like even if you look at Zionism and all that's going on, a lot of that's not in accordance with the Torah. It's not in accordance with what Moses and Abraham and David taught, right? This is the problem when people make political gains out of it. And there are Muslims that misuse the religion too, of course. But we here believe in sticking to the Quran, the original words of God, as that you have the English translations for. And we believe in where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, even the way we pray, even the way we fast, even the way we do our celebrations, all according to Quran and Hadith. We don't, we don't innovate Christmas and Easter and you know all these kinds of things that are that are not found in any religious scriptures. We believe these are innovations of, of churches that have made money. Even Joe Witnesses right now, we, we, we tried to speak to them, they won't even speak to us. They'll go to your house, they'll, they'll, they'll stop everybody else, but when we want to come with the Bible, they don't want to talk. Why? Because they know it's a money-making business, right? I mean, look at the Mormon church, look at the Catholic church, how billions did they raise? I've been right? to the Vatican. Oh, you've been That's to the Vatican, when wow. I gave up. That's when I looked around and I said... Going to the Vatican is what took you out of Catholicism. That was for me, Amazing. it's like... I came out of the Vatican and somebody had taken flower petals and redid the Sistine Chapel. And, it was, and I came out going, oh my God, I can't believe it. And I looked and I went, oh wow. This wind carried away these flower petals, <laughs> and I went, there it is. And I, I'm not it's one a sign. for signs. Oh, well, why not? Not, not me, not yeah. me, but I, I went, wow, if I were to believe in signs. Yeah. I, I know they're out there. Of know? course. But Look, you yeah. see this sun setting? Yeah. That's a sign, you know? I mean, you can, you, can, you, can, you can appreciate it, you can take a spiritual benefit, or you can just keep walking, you know? That's the thing. I know people like you, you think. And that's wonderful, right? You read, yeah, you're open-minded, right? You critically analyze. In Islam, we don't tell you to have blind faith, shut up and believe. Like when I used to go to church and ask, I looked up all these contradictions, sitting in church, in Bible studies, and I would ask, hey, hey, preacher man, uh, these don't match. Shut up and believe, don't ask questions, you know? Blind faith, the Trinity is a mystery, the mystery of the Trinity, you know, there's, uh, if the Holy Ghost doesn't tell you, then you can't understand it, kind of, you know, all this nonsense. But in Islam, ask questions. Every question you ask, I'm going to give you the answer. If I know it, if I don't know it, I'll go to scholars. If they don't know it, we'll look in the books. But we want you to ask. We my want you. question is, is, where's my Ferrari? Your Ferrari <laughs> is waiting for I you. I just met it. When the time is right, may Allah give you a Ferrari. Thank you. You turned around my day. Thank you. Have a great one. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني